18 year old geriatric cat. We just got back from a very, very stress free, um, positive vet experience this morning. I'm also here with Knock Zydeco, he's under the table, and Hocus Pocus, who most of you guys know very well. Um, today is going to be a very brief video, uh, but it's going to talk about something that is life changing. Being conscious companions with our conscious companions, one of the things that we want to do is empower them, right? We talk about that a lot, being um, an empowering being in their life, helping them to feel empowered. And if we want to do that, we have to start with ourselves. too well what that feels like. Also someone who's an empath, um, I, I understand what it is to be incredibly highly sensitive to your surroundings. So that being said, we are not limited to these bodies and neither are our animal companions. And when we remember that in every moment, when we remember that we are not these bodies that are limited by physical challenges, emotional challenges, um, when we remember that we really are a mind, a mind that has the power to choose in every moment whether we want to be reactive, afraid, fearful, and I mean, of course, that's a, all along the same spectrum. Spectrum. When we remember that we have that power within our mind, not within our body, not within our brain, but within the larger mind, we come from a more empowered state. And if we are coming from a more empowered state, we are giving them permission to be empowered. Remembering that every moment we can call in our higher self, we can, can, can call in our guides. We can remember that I'm not this body limited with all of its limitations, that I am something so much greater than that we give them permission to remember that as well. That you do have the power to empower them by first empowering yourself. Because when we own that energy of strength and fearlessness and remembering who we really are, that is not limited by the body, we give them that permission to remember that as well. Because our energy, whether you're aware of this or not, whether you've learned this or not, our energy is very much like a giant bubble or an umbilical cord that they are submerged Just in remember all that. the time. You do have the power to empower them. Um, and when you help them to remember who they really are, which is not limited by their body and not, lim not limited by their sensitivities or their, their body sensitivities, um, you're empowering them from the most powerful way. So I just want you to think about that this week. Um, when you feel like you're triggered or you see that they're being triggered, you can remind them on a much higher level who they really are. So again, if we want to empower them, we're going to empower ourselves and we're going to remember that our being is infinite, it is limitless, and so they are too. And when we remember, they remember, and when we consciously choose to recognize that within us and within ourselves, we heal together. So I wish you all a wonderful week, I'm sending you all my love, be well.